But the next game here, a big round 11 rematch between the Melbourne D's and the Western Bulldogs. And we had the Bulldogs prevailing in this one. They get a little bit of revenge as Melbourne was able to top them earlier this season. And they controlled this game almost the whole way through, which was almost surprising to me. I thought it was going to be a little bit closer. Obviously, it got pretty close there in the fourth. I mean, the um, Bulldogs pulled about within like four of this one. So they are, um, or sorry, the Ds pulled them uh, without about four. And then the Doggies, they go, they just kick three goals and essentially ice the game. And so this was a fantastic game of footy, but this is going to prove pivotal for maybe the one and two spots or the top four in general. And uh, with this one, of course, he had another, probably another three points for Bontebelli. He shines, he kicks two with 31 disposals. And if you look at this, the Ds who have been priding themselves on their defense all season long, Ds and defense, it goes very well together and it really writes every single pun you can think about this team. Uh, but they give up their second most points all season and this is aimed back to the most points that they've given up was 96 to Adelaide back in round 10. So, we kind of talked about it last week. And you made some very good points of why we shouldn't be too concerned about this D's team. But now, they, they've they dropped um, games to non-finals teams. And they've won every game, every real big game against the finals teams. But now they finally drop a game to someone that is in the top 8, let alone the top 4. So, do we need to take a look at that, or, or do you still have uh, enough confidence in this team? Oh man, this is to take to take a ton from this game or to not because you get a combination of the weather. The weather was absolutely insane in this one with with periods of downpour. That was but such a the, fun thing to watch, though. To be honest, I, I think the doggies really. I think the doggies really adjusted to what they saw the first time. So. Mm-hmm. It, it, I've always heard this and I agree with this. It's never easy to beat a team twice in a season. It never is because just because they learn. And I'm not going to sit here and say that Melbourne should be worried because not a lot of teams can do what the Western Bulldogs did. That's it's just fact. Melbourne is a tough, tough game. I think they just, their forwards had a big issue on the same day and it cost them. Brown has a bad um, accuracy game. Fritch wasn't his self. Uh, McDonald wasn't his self. Jackson was relatively quiet. So when you have kind of like a perfect storm situation, this ah, it really storm kind of helped. Pun, <laughs> it, I wasn't even trying to be completely <laughs> honest with you there, it, 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 but it was. It was. It was really was the perfect situation for the doggies. They get they get a Melbourne team that's not on their game is perfect. They play a really really good game. Bond and Pelly again proves why. A lot of people are saying he is potentially the Brownlow medalist this particular season. Another absolutely insane performance against this Melbourne Demons team. And in now we now we see how does Melbourne respond. This is the first time they've lost to a game to a team in the finals. So we'll have to see how do they respond over these next few weeks because if they climb back into their shell a little bit, this D's team could be hurting a little bit because they could go from top of the table to potentially back in the mire. And, and if they get back in the mire, if they still have some of their goal scorings, it could be a shortly lived final series for Melbourne. If they don't figure out their goal, if they can't write their goal kicking immediately. Yeah. I mean, we saw some stuff happen a couple of rounds ago where it looked like they might have a spark when it comes to their offense. I mean, you know, the, the, the old adage, at least in uh, gridiron, is that defense wins championships. And obviously, there's a lot of what you could put in that in, in footy as well. But when you go against these better teams, these better goal-kicking teams that you're going to see in the funnels and late in, in, in the later rounds of it, you're going to also need to put up enough points on offense. You're probably going to want to be around that 80-90 mark, and you want to be able to get there almost without thinking about it unless you're able to be unless you're able to have that much confidence in your defense, but a defense that's been faltering recently. So when you pride yourself on defense or you don't have a great offense to, to, to back it up all consistently enough, once that defense falls, you might be in a little bit of trouble. Obviously, these last four games are going to prove huge. They're finals teams. They're probably they're just about locks for top four, but it's all about trying to build a little bit of momentum and fix themselves going into finals.